So without wasting time, they did these lines. They did. Then they did. They have served the purpose. Remove these ones as well. Now that done, you highlight these uh, plan view of the leg of the table and pick this part and fillet of five. Type in five. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Type in five. Fillet this place as well. Five. That's okay. Beautiful. Now let's look for the center of this leg of the table. Pick the center of that curve there. Look at it. And drop a line there. Look for this one. The center starts from here. Look for the center of this one and drop it there. You can see the meeting point. That's where you drop a hotspot. Drop a hotspot there. No, that's wrong. The, the, the hotspot should be dropped at this meeting point. Good. And look at this line. So you have it like this. Now, pick on this line, duplicate it and drop back and offset it 3mm. Offset all the size 3mm. Just type in your 3. You see what you have there. Good. Now, get this. Get this together. Drag a copy of it out. Drag it out for some purpose. Then delete this. Now, this line, you have to hide this line. How do you hide it? It's line one. That's the layer with which you created it. Go and start for line one here and hide it. This is line one. This is how you hide it. Close the eyes. Click OK. It goes off immediately. Now, fill these two shapes with a morph. Drop morph here, drop morph here. Now drag these uh, morph and drop in the center of the larger one. Drop it here. You see what you have. Highlight both of them and show them in 3D. Show selection in 3D. Look at them here. Start for the middle morph. Yeah. Extrude it as 6, 6, 4, 7, 6, 4, 7 and click your end that way. It's done. Pick this outer curve. Extrude it at 647. 647. It's done. Now search for the middle morph. You can see it. Then click Boolean operation subtract and click on the outer morph. You have a hole. You might be asking, you can do this with uh, you can do it uh, with a slab. I'll tell you the reason why I did not make use of slab. If I don't mind, let me use slab there so that you see something. I have it in place here now. Let me return my hidden line. That line one that I hid. It's back in place. Now I want to show you why I did not make use of line. I did not make use of a uh, slab. Let me show you something there. Let me move it towards this side and create it with slab on this side so that you see something there. Control M. Shift Control M. You see what I have here? Beautiful. See what I have here? I'm going to create the central one as well. I'm going to create the central one. Ready, copy. Drop it there and uh, I just three. Beautiful. Let me rehide this line. Line one, rehide it. Have to hide and rehide. Good. Now let's use lab. I want to show you something. Fill here with fill this lab. Okay, we are going to have a problem there. Have a problem. Let me get this hotspot and transfer it there. Get this hotspot so that it appears in the middle of that place. Good. Good. Drag it a copy of it up and delete this. Your slab should be of thickness of a 647. 647. You have a slab here already. You have a slab. Now drag this line inside it. You want slab. So highlight this slab. Let's copy who. And I'll show you something. When you convert it to morph. And then you turn this place into a curve. You are dragging this up to this place. And turn it back here. 
beautiful. The object is cool. It's looking cool. Now let's see them in 3D. No, let's see all of them in 3D. It's looking cool. Look at it here. Now, I said earlier, before I save my object into, before I save the material that I use in creating the object into, a, uh, into an object, I'll first of all convert them to morph. Now let me convert this to morph. First, let me bring, let me on that line that is missing. Click OK. Good. Now, this is slab. I have to convert this slab into a morph. Convert to morph. Click OK. What do you have here? Do you see? Do you see? It has twisted from the perfect flow of the table. That's the reason why I don't make use of flat. I hope you, you now understand my reason. I'm deleting it. So back to this list. We have this all already created. Now what do we do? Delete this line. Now get a copy of this line, this outer line. Drag a copy of it out. Good. Fill it with morph. Now that you have filled it with morph, next thing to do is um, view it in 3D. Look at it here. Now you're going to extrude this object. Extrude it 700 mm. You see what you have there? Good. Go to your floor plan. Now drag this morph into its original position. Now that you've driven it into its original position, view it in section. Open this section 5. S 5. S 5. This is what S 5 looks like. Now, this is the shutter morph. Drag a copy of it up. You drop it here. Now that you've dropped it here, space between the lower morph and this upper morph by 3. It gives you the thickness of the groove that the protrusion around the leg of the uh, table. Now that you have this, the height of this is 647. So you are going to reduce the height of this spot down to this position to be 50 mm. That means you are subtracting 50 mm from 647. And when you subtract um, 50 mm from 647, what you are going to have is uh, 597. That is, if you subtract 650 mm from 647, what you are going to have is 597. So let's go to our 3D. In this our 3D, you can see how tall it is. Click on it. And zoom closer, zoom closer. And uh, please, until this dark spot, you can see that rectangular rectangular plane that just appeared on top of that plane. Shows you that that is the plane of the operation. Now click on it and move to this place. Push. Click on push. Then push it down by 597. 597. That you okay. You see there. Now let's look for the lower morph. Look at the lower morph here. You see. We are going to subtract this lower morph. The moment we subtract them, they will create that protrusion. That protrusion on round the leg of the table. Click subtract. Click on the center. Now you see the ring has just appeared. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. I have thought of the process of using a simple ring and moving around this place. Yet I know the challenges. I am moving towards perfection. I want perfection. I want the shape to be smooth and neat. I don't want it to be look rugged. That is why I have to follow in this process. There might be other simpler process, but this will give you the best result. Now back to our floor plan. In this our floor plan, we are going to drag this line, click on your pulley line, this line here, drag a copy of it and drop back, then offset it inside. I've set it was inside. If you set it here, you have three mm. I've set it again five mm. Simply type five. So this is what you have. This is what you have. Delete this. Now in this, put down your cursor at this spot and drop a morph there. Click on your morph. Then hold down your cursor at this spot and drop a morph. A morph will appear. If you don't have a shaft point round them off, you can't drop them off. You have thought that I'm just doing this for the first time in this inside this same off. But all that time I had to separate them. That's because I don't have a sharp point. They are all curved point. Now because I have this sharp point, that's why I dropped that morph there. Now I'll have to click only on this morph 
and show it in my 3D. Look at it here. Now I'll have to offset it, I'll have to extrude it to the height of the table. The height of the table is 700 mm, but I'm not going to extrude it completely to 700 mm. I'm going to extrude it to 690, 690. That done. Then view it in my section 5. Look at it here in section 5. Look at it here. I'll drag it up. I'll drag it up. I want this. I want this at the foot of the leg of the table. It has to it has to be solid here and uh hollow up here. According to the drawing, according to the pictures that I showed you. Now we perform our volume operation here without wasting time. Simply click on subtract and click on this. And automatically you have a hole. You can see it's a hole up here. View it in 3D and see what it looks like. Oh, show all in 3D. You see it in 3D? Now let's navigate and see what it looks like. The inside looks like. You see? You see what it looks like? You see? You see? So you now have the leg of your table created. Good. Now that you have the leg of your table created, there is something else that happens in the leg of that table. Let's check our picture again. Check your picture. Let's look at that, our picture. There's something I want to show you there. In the leg of this table, there's something I want to show you there. Take a look. You can see this hole here at the foot. At the foot, we're going to create that hole. So let's go to our floor plan. At this point, we pick a, a circle. Draw a circle of radius 15. Now copy out this circle. Copy it out. Drag a copy of it out and fill it with morph. Drop a morph inside it. Now you can see this morph did not fill this circle perfectly well. So use your design and fill it well. Modify them off. You see what happened now. Modify them off. Let's do it just two times. Okay, that's filled it perfectly well. Good. Now when we click on this morph, we drag it at this spot. Pin it at the center and drop it here. Now, what thickness are we going to give to it? Since we removed 10 mm, so we are going to extrude this 10 mm. Just show only it in 3D. Then click on it and extrude it. Type in your 10 or just type in your 15. That is in 15 because you are using it to cut a hole, just a hole into the rest. Now I click show all. You can see it there. Now I click on your boolean operation subtract and click on this external wall that's bought a hole inside it. Let's check the bottom of the leg and see what it looks like. Can you see it? Can you see it has a hole? It has a hole. If you view it from the top, let's view it from the top and see if we have that shape of our picture. Exactly, we have it. Good. So we are done creating the leg of the table. That's just it. Now that you've just you are done with that, uh, get just get a copy of it. Get a copy of the leg of the table. Just drag a copy of it out. Drop it. I have my reasons for dragging it out. You are going to save it separately as a single leg. It becomes an object so that you can assemble it. If you like, you assemble it or you use morph and complete the rest. Now, click on this morph here and multiply it into three, into four places. We now have them at four corners. Beautiful. Now, unite them all together. You have united them into single object. Now that you've united them, just drag them out and drop them here, at the center of this place. Beautiful. This is what you have. This is what you have. Now take this your section line. Of course, you know we are done with everything here. Delete those lines. Take your section line and drop it at this spot. Now. 
couldn't that fiction have a couple of that? Let's go and see. Section 5, not section 1. This is what we have. Now move this up. Move it up. Move it up. Move it up and drop it here. You see what I just did? Look where. Well. I just plugged the leg to stop at this spot. Now view it in 3D. You can see it here. Look at it here in 3D. See that? 